How we doing everybody? How we doing? Today is Monday, the 17th of June, 2023. Still in the real estate tap in with you for today. So it looks like, you know, uh, listings are up considerably uh, from last year, roughly about 22% as of May of this year, uh, from May of last year, um, which is a good thing depending on how you look at it um, for sellers um, it may not be great um, because you know obviously the more properties that come on the market more competition you know may drive down pricing a little bit and then um, for the buyers uh, it doesn't look like demand has gone up that much um, so you know now the shift is kind of going back where there's maybe more sellers than buyers um, so properties may be sitting on the market you know a little bit longer uh, they used to sit on the market <laughs> maybe a week <laughs> but um, you know that may be shifting and then again this is all based on a certain area you know where you live it could be you know things are still flying off the shelf but you know I'm just speaking about the overall real estate market so I say that to say that there are uh, some deals out there um, you know I looked at three deals over the weekend um, where we uh, can structure it you know we can buy it uh, subject to the existing lien and then be able to create a note and put a buyer in that particular property who may not necessarily qualify for bank financing. And on each of those deals was able to pay a funder, you know, over 15% interest for about 60 months. So, um, you know really solid deal it was in the uh, Texas area uh, all three of them I think two were in San Antonio and then one might have been in the Dallas area and so you know that there are opportunities out there so if you're someone that you know may have some investment capital and looking for a solid return you may want to see how we structure things you know what our plan is um, basically what we do is that we look to take over debt low interest debt and that's the key to the whole thing is that even if you're going to be if you're going to fund a deal and you're in second position uh, you're behind a very low interest rate loan so if you do for whatever reason get this property back what's the chances of you you know being able to find a buyer above a three percent mortgage above a four percent mortgage you know where you create that spread for yourself um, you know that's going to be gold so to speak for the foreseeable future i don't know if we'll ever get back down to those two percent three percent mortgages and then if we do it's going to be some time you know it's going to be some years before the economy gets to a position based on where it is today that it could um, offer two and three percent something you know really catastrophic would have to happen in the US similar to a pandemic you know God forbid a war or something like that uh, for it to go back down to like two three percent or zero percent how some people were getting um, and, you know, obviously, if that happens, you know, we have bigger things that we're going to be concerned about if something like that happens. So that's what the security is for a funder of a deal like that, is that you're you're in second position. But if you needed to take the property back, which you could at a second position, if we don't perform for whatever reason, could you not... You know just go ahead and do the same thing that we did with the property put another buyer in it 
at a higher interest rate and collect the spread. You know, you might you might even be your return probably would go up. You know, in that instance, most likely. Um, but you know, you would still protect yourself. You know, you're still protected because you can get the property back and then you know put somebody else in there. So if that's something that possibly interests you, um, definitely reach out to us. You know, we're looking for partners, looking for people that would. Um, potentially fund some of these deals that are out there and we usually do them like three to five years um, so it's not terribly long period of time but you know to get a 15 percent annualized return for the next five years backed by a piece of real estate you know that most likely that in that loan too there's some equity built into that loan you know it just depends on the property but there may be some equity that's built into that so in case values come down you know you're still protected so our biggest thing is to make sure that you know our partner is protected person that we put into the home we make sure that they are well qualified um, we make them put down significant deposits where you know it's not you know taking $2,500 or $5,000 and then somebody can just easily walk away from that. We take, you know, 10% down and we get these people approved um, through a registered mortgage loan officer. So we get them qualified. So just because you don't get qualified by Bank of America or Chase, you know, doesn't mean that you can't be a homeowner. So. You know, this is what we're looking to do. And so if anybody's out there interested in that, you know, respond to the video and let's have a chat. All right. Um, but again, again, biggest thing is that I think that this market is starting to shift a little bit. And, you know, if you're an investor or somebody that wants to invest, um, you know, there's some opportunities out there. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a great one.